Welcome back to another episode of Continuous Improvement, the podcast that explores the ever-evolving world of software distributed systems. I'm your host, Victor, and in today's episode, we'll unravel the concept of observability in software distributed systems. We'll dive deep into its key components, understand why it has become a critical requirement for modern application development, and explore how it can enhance our system's reliability and efficiency. So, let's get started. To begin with, observability refers to the ability to gain insights into the internal states of a system based on its external outputs. It involves collecting and analyzing various types of data, such as logs, metrics, traces, and events, to understand how our systems behave and perform. Think of it as a window that allows us to look inside our complex distributed systems and make informed decisions. Let's break down the key components of observability. First up, we have logs. Logs are textual records of events generated by our software applications. They capture important information about system activities, errors, warnings, and other relevant events. By aggregating and analyzing logs, developers and operators can gain visibility into the system's behavior and identify potential issues. Next, we have metrics. Metrics provide quantitative measurements of system performance and behavior. They include CPU usage, memory consumption, response times, and network traffic, among others. By collecting and analyzing metrics, teams can monitor system health, identify bottlenecks, and make data-driven decisions to optimize performance. Moving on, we have traces. Traces capture the journey of a specific request as it traverses through different components of a distributed system. They provide a detailed view of the execution path, including service dependencies, latency, and any errors encountered. Traces are a powerful tool that helps identify performance bottlenecks, latency issues, and potential optimizations. Last but not least, we have events. Events represent significant occurrences within the system, such as service deployments, configuration changes, or failure events. By capturing and analyzing events, teams can understand the impact of changes, identify patterns, and correlate events with system behavior. Now, you might be wondering, why is observability so important? Well, let me tell you. First and foremost, observability enables rapid troubleshooting. By collecting and analyzing data from different sources like logs, metrics, traces, and events, teams can quickly pinpoint the root cause of issues and reduce the mean time to resolution, MTTR. Observability also empowers teams to proactively optimize system performance. By monitoring metrics and analyzing traces, Teams can identify performance bottlenecks before they impact end users. This allows for proactive improvements and a seamless user experience. Another crucial aspect of observability is efficient collaboration. Observability data provides a common ground for developers, operations teams, and other stakeholders to work together. Shared visibility into system behavior fosters effective communication, faster incident response and seamless coordination across teams. Lastly, observability plays a significant role in capacity planning and scalability. By analyzing metrics and performance trends, teams can make informed decisions about resource allocation, capacity planning, and scaling. This ensures optimal resource utilization and system scalability as per the demand. To wrap things up, Observability is a fundamental aspect of software development and operations in today's complex and interconnected world of distributed systems. By collecting and analyzing logs, metrics, traces, and events, teams gain actionable insights into system behavior, performance, and health. This, in turn, enables rapid troubleshooting, proactive performance optimization, efficient collaboration, and informed decision-making for capacity planning and scalability. Well, that wraps up our episode for today. I hope you found this exploration of observability in software distributed systems informative and insightful. 
As always, stay tuned for more episodes of Continuous Improvement, where we uncover the latest trends and best practices in software development. Until next time, this is Victor signing off. Outro music fades in. Outro. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe to Continuous Improvement on your favorite podcast platform. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover in future episodes, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter at Victor C. Thanks for listening, and stay curious. Outro music fades out.